Hey guys, welcome to my Trello tutorial. This is how to use Trello for to-dos and projects. There's actually some really cool features in Trello that make it quite unique. I'll go over using Trello step-by-step -step from signing up all of the settings, adding all of the different projects and to-dos, and also adding in some other apps that you can use with Trello to really bulk it out. I would also leave all the timestamps for this video in the video description. So this is the Trello homepage and I will leave their link in the description if you want to click it, go through and follow along or you just want to download it. You can come down here and just very simply put your email address in and click sign up or you can come through to the option right here and click sign up. I'm just going to choose this one Then it's going to take us through to the page where you can sign up for an account. You can use any of your existing accounts right here or you can just use an email. I'm going to use the email option. Once you do put your email in, those other options will disappear. Click continue, they'll send you an email and then you can go and log into your new account. If you've never used Trello before, when you do sign in for an account, it may show you these options where you can go and create your team. This is really a team of people that maybe also use Trello. So if you don't have those, you can skip it. It may also ask you to choose between a free version and a paid version or a free trial. You don't have to use the paid version and you don't even have to take the free trial that goes onto the paid version. You can come down to the bottom and choose the free option and you can use most of the options with Trello for free. If you're a small business, it's pretty much all you need. Once you are completed with all those steps, you'll come through to the Trello homepage or the Trello dashboard. And really Trello is split into three main areas, boards, lists, and cards. We're gonna come through then and create a board straight away. So you can come up to the plus icon right here, click this, and then you'll get some options. You can start with a template, you can create a team, but we're just gonna create a board. So click on that, it will then take us through and give the board a title. So I'm just gonna call it my board like this. And then the workspace visibility is really important. You can change this from three different options. Private means that absolutely no one can see the board except for you. So if you maybe have a board that is to do with your home life or something like that, you can choose private. Team is if you're in a business or a small team of people that are organizing something, that will be great so you can invite other people to it. Public means that anyone on the internet can see this. People can go and search for a board of a certain type and if Google Google comes up with Trello, then your board might be visible to absolutely anyone. So I'm just gonna choose team for now. I think that's good. You can then start with a template, which we will get onto in a second. I'm just gonna create a new board for now. It's completely blank. First thing we can do is change the background of the board. We can come up to show menu like this and click on change background. You can change this to anything that you want. You can just put a block color on there. You can choose from a bunch of different photos that Trello has, or if you go back here, you can actually choose custom. So you can pretty much just drag anything that you want in here from your computer and it will be uploaded as the background. I'm actually just gonna change this to uh, uh, gray for now so that it's just kind of easy on the eyes and you guys can see everything that is happening on the screen. The next thing that we can do is add some lists to our board. Now Trello really uses these to organize all of your to-dos or projects within certain different lists. And the way that Trello really starts out is maybe by creating a list that is to-do. We can add the list like this and then we can add another list and then we can add that one and then the third list would be done. So this is just an easy way that you can add three different lists and then you can put different cards in all of those lists. You can of course label these any way that you want and you may want to organize those in different ways and there are lots of templates which I'll get onto towards the end that show you all the different ways that you can actually add lists. But we can just click this off so that we don't have to add anything else but if you do want to add another list it's right in here. What I'm going to do now is actually add some cards to those lists. So I'm actually gonna change the name of the board right up here and I'm just going to put party. So we're going to organize a party and then to do, you can just add cards. So I'm just gonna click on add card really quickly. I'm gonna input the first card, which is food and drink like this. I'm going to add that card. The next one will be decorations. And then the next one will be by pinata. And then after that, a task is to set up the WhatsApp group and invite everybody. So I'm gonna add those cards onto the to-do list. We can actually come into each of these cards and get a lot more information from them because remember you can invite team members to come and participate. So if you're using this for a professional type of setting, it's 
works really good as well. You can add a much more detailed description in here. You can also color code it with a label. So maybe this is green. So maybe it's not that important, but if it is important, you can label it red. You can have two labels at once. Green is okay for me. Due date is really great to add as well. So we can just look at the calendar and say, yep, yeah, this is, has to be done by next week and just click save. So that due date appears here and then you can edit that as you wish on the run. You can also upload a cover image to the list if you like, maybe something important. So you can come to attachments and upload a cover image. It's then gonna go through to your upload folders. Just gonna choose a cover for it like this so you can see. And the other options I'm sure you can work out. So there are different checklists that you can put in. So you can add a checklist like this and then you can add different items in there. So maybe you can put gin and then add and then you can put cake like this. So that's a checklist that people can go and basically tick off. So that's a to-do list within the card. Activity down here if you want to write some comments. Cakes are sold out. You can then save that and that will post. Now every single person that is invited to your board and to this card specifically, we'll be able to see all of these comments. So you can really collaboratively work on something. Collaborative work is definitely an advantage of Trello. It's really what it's all about. And you can see all of the different features that you can add to a card. And I think it's pretty in depth. Now I'm done on this one, so I'm just gonna click off. You can see that the image is there and a lot of the important information is there. What is good about a card as well is that you can drag it to another list. So let's say the food and drink is now all bought or this project has specifically been finished. You can just drag this over into the done list like this. Let's say you need to invite some other members or some other, let's say you need to invite some other people to help you with your lists or your cards or your board in general. You can do that. You can come to each card specifically and then come to members and then search for those members. There's actually two ways that you can search on Trello. The first one is to search Trello usernames. So if you know for a fact that other people are using Trello and they want to collaborate with you, just type in their username on Trello and then you will search for them and you can add them to each card specifically. Or if we come out of here, you can actually come up to this invite section. The other option, if someone doesn't have Trello yet, is to invite them with a link and you can create that link. Put their email address in like this. You can come down to send invitation so they will be invited to sign up for Trello and then they'll be invited into your board. If you have a few different members, you can remove them. Just come up here, click their avatar, and then you can add or remove them in any way that you like as long as you are the admin. The second way is to just change permissions. So if you are the admin, you can click on change permissions and then you can change these permissions per person. So if you have many different members, you can actually add more than one admin. Maybe you have a couple of people that can sort everything out or you can change that to normal if you don't want to give them admin permissions, but you do want them to see all the collaborative efforts of the team. Next, I wanna come on to what Trello calls power ups. These are really integrations with other apps. So you can integrate Google Drive, OneDrive, Slack, and many others, really all within Trello so people can use all of them in one place. We can come over to the menu on the right-hand side, come down to power ups, and there are lots of different options and integrations that you can put into your Trello. You can actually search for them on the left-hand side. So if you have Slack, you can integrate that right here. If you put calendar in, you can integrate that right here. So Trello will actually have a calendar view instead of a board view. We can actually do this in some different ways as well on a list and card level. If we just come to this list right here, then we can come to the right hand side. We can add a power up directly within the card. Maybe you want to search for some Slack accounts that you can add. You can integrate that with other sales channels or anything like that. So it's very professional. Or if you're just a consumer, you may wanna just look at a calendar view. That's gonna make that so much easier for you. So you can see what needs to be done and when on that calendar view, rather than having the board view like this. If we go back to the homepage or the dashboard of Trello, there's a lot of other options that you can use. So I'm just gonna to come to the homepage. We can come to the boards tab right here. And like I said at the beginning, you can have more than one board. You can also make them private and invite only or public. You can actually see them all in the same space in the My Workspace. And this is the party board that you can see. And this is team visible right here. And if we come back out to the homepage, we have this untitled board that you could maybe title home or something like that and it is private right now, as you can see here. So coming back to the home, even though you can see all of them in your workspace, these are different and only certain other people can see them. You can create a new board from this dashboard as well. Also, what you can do is add different teams. 
via the Teams tab right here. We can click the plus button. Now all you have to do is name the team, my team like this, and the type of team that it is. So are you a small business or whatever? I'm just gonna click small business like this. Team description goes in here. You can then continue and essentially invite people via their email. Just invite them to the team or you can do this later and then you have a different team here. So you can split this up. Maybe you have different teams at work. Maybe you have different teams for the different projects that you have as a student. Whatever that may be, you can create those teams all here, come back to the main page and then all of those different teams will have their own separate areas on the dashboard. So if I just minimize this, you can see my workspace that I created. If I come to the boards for that workspace, you can see them right here. You can change this though. A different team can have a completely different workspace and dashboard right here. So in theory, you could actually name this one home or personal and then name this one work. And you can just split the teams up to whatever you want. You can also split them up and segregate everything yourself. If you just need to find a board or a team, you can come in here, type my, and then it will search for the my team and the my workspace. So if you have a lot of boards and a lot of teams, easy to search for them up here and it will give you the right thing. That's really the basics of using Trello to organize yourself either at work or at home. Do subscribe to the channel for way more helpful videos and I'll see you in the next one.